So the reason why I came to New York is to restart my life here. And the reason why I stopped breakdancing was uh, uh, to have better stable job. So for me, the stable job was CPA accounting because people tell me um, the accounting industry is very stable. It's not like uh, fluctuate. So that's why I uh, started accounting. Yeah, that's the only reason. <laughs> Um, yeah, it's a breakdance. Maybe I was 10 years old at the time and uh, one day uh, one of my classmates brought a black videotape and there was no tag on it so I asked him what it is and he said it's Michael Jackson's videotape, dance videotape. So I borrowed and then when I saw his moon walking I was shocked. So I replayed it more than 100 times and then practiced it and then next day I showed what I practiced to my classmates and everyone said oh you have a talent so that's why I started dancing I mean uh, break dancing during my time in Korea um, I couldn't study at all like you know I uh, just break dance was my like everything in my life like other than breakdance there was nothing in my life um, there was not even good places for practice so I always went to subway station and then after the show, subway shut down um, I practiced it like at night one of the hardest uh, part of the skills is 1990 like spinning with just one hand it was really hard just I w really wanted to figure out the secret so uh, just after I think and think m many times um, I figured out the the key points should be the balance so I tried to uh, have the perfect balance so I did this like for three hours, four hours every day so that I can remember, my body can remember the perfect spot like which is the center of my body so that I can get the balance from uh, the hand, head and then my you know upper body and my legs. I think it was 2004. I was preparing for a b-boy competition. It was a big competition in Korea at the time. But one day I injured my arm, so I broke my arm actually. So I couldn't practice for like a few months. Um, so at the time I, I seriously thought about my future. And you know breakdance is not easy, it's tough and sometimes it's dangerous because you have to just, you know, throw your body into the air and just whoop, right? So uh, I was not sure if I can, if I could, if I can uh, continue breakdancing for the rest of my life. So, so that's why I decided to um, have a, a, a job that I use my brain instead of my physical body. So that's why I decided to come to New York. And I finally got into uh, the public accounting firm and I'm working as a CPA there. I met a beautiful woman and then got married. And then now I have two boys. 
And um, I think they watched my breakdance video on YouTube. My wife showed them, probably. And the first, first one, he uh, tried to copy my skill, like tried to do windmill. <laughs> so uh, I'm very happy when I see them um, just trying to do breakdance. I will uh, support my kids if they want to breakdance. The reason why I came to New York is to restart my life and to have, you know, stable job. So, you know, uh, working as a CPA in you know, accounting company, um, it's kind of like proof of my uh, success. <laughs> Breakdance is not street culture anymore. It's everyone's culture now because um, breakdance became um, official Olympic sports. If you like breakdancing or any other creative passion, just start it. Just follow your heart. However, if you need to be realistic and need to start in other things, um, it's okay. But don't give up. It will give more meaning to your life and you will be happier.